on the line here in okay. winner's round two. Your first out is on the line here, and that is probably one of the most important, because you make it to grand finals, you don't, they don't have to get the reset. I can speak volumes to that myself. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't My you play? My DK lost four games in the last minute. <laughs> four games. I haven't watched that, that was, that was so sad. I lost a game to West's Zelda, and then I lost- Well, Zelda, what are you supposed to do? I lost two games to um, Kasai in in Winner's Finals, and I lost a game to Har in Grand Finals, and that was it. No one knows how to fucking play uh, against a Zelda. This is just a fact. <laughs> how do you beat Zelda? No one knows. You can't- you literally can't play. Exactly. You literally just, can't It's surprising, play. because Zelda's one of the campiest characters in the game. Yeah, I know. You also, just... I'm loving the new mechanic that, uh... That, Let's go. That, then, that Zelda's down B is now a projectile, so you can pocket it. <laughs> you just pocket a whole, whole ass knight, big ass knight, eight feet tall. Yeah, I'll just stick that shit in my pocket. Might need it later. So we got Beans and Hushpa B, Banjo and PT. We got the Good Banjo. Good startup. Good startup. Kazoos. We got the Kazoos. Not many Kazoo players. That's one of the things that like people said, oh yeah. I can't wait for Banjo to be in Smash. And then they didn't actually play Banjo. Holy shit. Um, his play style is a little funky, to be honest. So is that Nintendo's fault, or is that our fault for not playing him properly? I think it's probably Nintendo's fault. I think they could have... <laughs> I think they could have... I think he's implemented really well, but I think there's certain tweaks that I don't you like. Want, you want to sit? And, and I don't think they'll change. There's some shit involving, uh, like... Zelda, and not Zelda. <laughs> Nintendo, as of recent, has been doing some shit that seems to be pissing people off. Oh yeah, and definitely. I fucking the Pokemon DLC. I've never been a fan for DLC. Fuck's sake. Are they flipped? All right, hold on. Uh, where's the the, the hold on? Pe right technical difficulties. Yep, yeah, technical difficulties. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. This game is still really, really even. Yeah, it is very even. It has been the Probably whole... Probably because both characters, I think, are similar on the tier list right here. <laughs> I know uh, Banjo's down throw has a kill confirm off of up smash. I do believe it at 30 percent Hush Puppy down to his last stock here in game one. It's all fun and games, so you eat a whole ass F-Smash and die at 60. Oh my god, today might be the day I make it into top 10. <laughs> I might, just in this tournament, I might make it. <sighs> That's a good ass cookie, is that a fucking Pop-Tart? Oh yeah. God, they're um... Hot take, warm Pop-Tarts uh, are better than cold. It's uh, this is the uh... S'mores, I think. Yeah, the s'more one. Oh Those are fire. Oh my god, I knew it. Pop-Tarts are fire. Other ones are kind of shit, but this one, S'mores is actually good. Oh, oh dude! The fucking side beat. That dude. move is broken. It is kind of broken though. Banjo. Banjo. Banjo is kind of fucking dumb in some aspects. I'm saying we should I mean, ban. Well, Joe. like there's some things, there's some things you can do to counter it. You can grab him out of it, but it's a really fucking hard timing to do because the hitbox is hard, and you need to have a big enough grab. Yeah. Although you can just jump over, like I just, a sane person would do. I personally just always play the match as if I have to space around Wondering, because you literally have to space around Wondering the entire match. If you whiff something, you could be you whiff a move, you could be three miles away, but as long as you are in. Wonder Wing distance, he will Wonder Wing you if you if, if you whip a move. Exactly, because one of the downside of Wonder Wings, if you do spam it, you will get punished because now you no longer have that move. Yeah, so. yeah. So we're getting the character switch to Joker. Of course, the the top tier no one likes. 20XX, everyone plays Joker. I've seen some shit with Joker that really pisses me off, like that involves fucking Arsene. The I've seen a Cloud multi hit, like his like limit break side beat. Get canceled out because he got because he got the R send. Exactly. Yeah. All of his yeah. knockback at 120 percent. All of it gone. Yeah, I it's think a really it's a little high. Here. Just tap it down a little bit. That's a, yeah. Check there we go. Right in the yellow. Perfect. Still, Hush Puppy's still in the dis oh the back air catch with okay. beans. I'm not sure that DI was uh, optimal there, but that's okay. A lot of Joker players don't know how to DI optimally. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, still living after that F smash. Can he get this kill with Arsene? Oh, takes a Wonder Wing. 
Misses the back air. Beans misses the up tilt. Ooh. This um, scenario is favoring Beans right now, but he does take that stock, or um, does lose that stock. And we do have even stocks. The Joker definitely can put together um, a lot of damage. Joker has... But Beans has actually been playing really well. Joker feels more like uh, an FGC character rather than a Smash <laughs> character because of the kind of the combo shoot he can do. What Hush Puppy needs to do really now is just time his down B right when he uses Wonder Wing and get a fuck ton of Arsene. The, yeah, that would be that would be an instant Arsene oh, right there. Oh, detected. Yep, there got, a space around, got a space around Wonder Wing or you're going to get hit the, by it. This is probably one of the few matchups I think Banjo actually does better in. Because because of how weird Banjo is, it's hard for Joker to move around. Also, like Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing can two frame. Oh, so when Joker shit. tries to snap the ledge, you can pop Wonder Wing and two frame. Mm. As they're sending in. Yeah, this R send is gonna be huge for is, Hush Puppy. This could make Hush Puppy gain the there it oh. is. Wonder Wing, once again, one of the hardest moves to just fucking space around. And and with um Banjo having a stock lead now. He, can, he has the ability to play around with his Wonder Wings because he's not and at a deficit. He can, he can just fucking get a kill off of it. That's yeah. all he needs. At the edge, Wonder Wing oh, will go. kill at this, this is percent. Gonna I'm going to see a Wonder Wing right fucking here. I'm expecting it. We are I'm fully, I'm we're expecting fully it. expecting he's gonna it. He's going to throw it at ledge. Here it is. And, oh, oh the text the back air. Oh, my God. This is... I'm expecting Plus it. Puppy we're still expecting it. it. It's going to come three. Oh, he if he the back air. there, that would win. Yeah, he would have won. He would have won, yeah. But now he just has to uh, hit it. <clears throat> but now he has a full, fresh five. Oh, he went for the Wonder Wing, but got stepped out by the dash attack. <laughs> oh, the back air. Oh, that almost killed him. This is looking really solid for Beans. Hush Puppy could get a good count. If a Hush Puppy gets counter off stage, it could kill. It could gimp. It could kill, kill. yeah. Banjo is, Banjo is pretty gimpable. Although, very high percent for Hush Puppy. He's going to have to play extremely well, there and he it does is. it. There it is. It's you whip the, one move, man. It's the side B. It's, in hard, it's so hard to win. You whip one move, one and that's the all it takes. The one of the best we're, ways... We're after Aberman and Kyo. One of the best fucking counters to avoid Wonder Wing, bait, bait, bait yeah, them and avoid yeah. them. Once, they're, once he's like lower out, you can focus on more of aggressive gameplay. Yeah, I just sit on the opposite side of the stage and dash, uh, dash dance back and forth.